this is Corey Stein. Today we're going to be going over how to uh, glue your mixes together by using a master bus compressor. You know what I'm saying? Get a nice, well-rounded overall sound. And the, the trick is to mix into it, not just flip it on after you've already got everything recorded and you're, you're, now you're ready to mix. So use this on your next track. Don't try to go back and add it to stuff you've done before. So the track we're going to be using today is by Matt Hatter. It's called 12 Decembers. Fucking gas track. We're going to be showing the technique on the uh, the original hardware SSL master bus compressor but as you can see I've got the uh, the plug-in right here that will work as well or you can use any compressor the key is just in the numbers the attack the release and the ratio of settings so pay close attention so the goal is to get like negative three decibels of gain reduction you want to start out with like a four to one ratio kind of a slow attack a super quick release and your makeup gain at unison and so we're just going to dial this in until the meter's hitting like two or three. But again, use your ears, not the meters. And then dial back up the makeup game. So that without it, it sounds dull. With it, it's not louder, but it sounds more smooth and glued together. If you're not lucky enough to have the uh, the hardware, you know you can always use a plug-in compressor. I'm using this one right here. Same exact settings. You know, 10 milliseconds for your attack. I'm using the auto on here because it sounds a little bit better, a little bit smoother. And this should be at four to one. So this is with the uh, without the hardware. This is with the actual SSL bus plug-in. So we're gonna replicate the settings. We're shooting for negative three decibels of gain reduction. We're gonna use about 10 milliseconds on the attack. I'm using auto release, but if you don't use auto, you want it to be as short as possible, so like 0.1 milliseconds. Four to one ratio, and here's what it sounds like bypass, and then I'm gonna engage it about halfway through so you can tell. Dial up your makeup game to where when you bypass it, you're not losing any volume. But you hear how much wider and just more depth it adds? What it's doing is bringing up the low transients and making it not such a dynamic difference between the high transients and the low peaks. So you get a little bit more of everything, the background vocals, the effects. So if you reach your desired effect, the low valleys of the, uh, the transients and the high valleys won't be so far apart. It, it squashes the dynamic range, but in a, in a smooth, colorful kind of way, so that you hear a little bit more of the effects, a little bit more of the background vocals. Everything just kind of stands out more. You do not, you do not want to go over the four decibel mark on your master bus compressor. You don't, you don't, it'll sound squashed. Many tutorials will tell you that you want to just do it to taste. That's bullshit. Once you put it in the car, it's gonna sound like it's pumping. If you've got the pumping effect, which is not desired, that's not what you want, you will, uh, you'll hear the bass when it initially impacts. It gets really quiet, the whole song does. And then as it starts to fade off, which is the release, everything kind of pumps back into place and gets louder. But then as soon as the next big transient comes and it hits, it's gonna squash everything back down. So using less than four decibels of gain reduction is actually gonna be helpful because it's gonna be in a transparent way where you can't really tell that the bass is uh, what's affecting the compressor. So if you apply this method uh, correctly, you should have some smooth sounding tracks, you know what I'm saying? Don't do it on any prior tracks. Add this to your next thing at the very beginning and mix into it. And stay tuned because we're going to teach you about the rear bus and how to use parallel compression on your main bus to get more of a, uh, a full polished mix. Assuming you already have your master bus compressor in place, everything sounds glued together, you've got a nice sounding polished mix. You're like, okay, all I need is some overall sheen, maybe some more mid-range, a little bit of low-end boost. You kind of want a little bit more bass overall. So, what you do is you make you a new track, put that same stereo bus EQ or uh, compressor on there. I'm using the SSL, but for the sake of showing you how versatile this works, I'm going to use the stock compressor that came with Reaper. So, what you want to do is you want to have a super fast attack, not squashing it, but kind of fast. 30 milliseconds release, 4 to 1 ratio, 4 to 1. The concept here is to 
bus everything that you've already got in place, so your all vocal bus, your all effects bus, and your all music bus to this. So it's basically parallel compression for your main bus. So the goal here is listen to your track. You should have it all the way down. We can just barely hear it. We're trying to get this threshold wheel to pump with the bass. It's like negative 10, negative 12 is what you're shooting for. So once that sounds right, drag your pedals and press track up to taste. So that when you mute it, you can tell it's gone. But when you bring it in, it's not much of a difference, but it's enough to make it sound polished. You want to go one step further. This is a parallel chain, so this is where you do all your effects. You can pull up something that boosts the subs with a very low end. So, I would do like so. So there's more sub, but it's only coming in where the regular sub isn't. So you see it's just heavily compressed. You don't really notice, but if you take it away, you can definitely tell it's going. All the reverbs come up a little bit more present. All the background vocals come up a little bit more. This is the super compressed uh, tracking solo, along with the uh, original beat. So hear what those are doing together. And this is the whole track. Again with the rear bus muted. And watch when I engage it, how much body comes in. Huge difference. Stay tuned, next we're going to be going over some more parallel vocal chains you can do to kind of create rolling delays and effects that kind of bridge the passages of your song together, like the hook and the next verse, where there's not just empty space.